Hey guys, welcome to my second video about the Proton. I uh, received a, a few um, posts asking for some more details about the rack. So here it goes. Let's see a little bit more about the rack. Um, first of all, which parts did I use to assemble the rack? Well, as you can see here, it's made of two aluminum frames. These frames are made with these beams. They are, they are aluminum beams. They have one centimeter by one centimeter and uh, one millimeter thick. They usually come in pieces of uh, one meter. So this is what I used. I have to cut them. You can see here in the, in the corner that I had to make a small indentation so I can put together the lateral and the top bottom beams. So let's take a look what parts I used here. Mainly there are two parts. This is the back plane as you can see here. So the back plane where the the connectors are assembled. I'm talking about these small connectors for the cart that will be inserted and uh, on the edges we have these other connectors that are uh, 90 degrees connectors they are all uh, 2.54 millimeter spacing so it's a standard connector after assembling they should look something like this so as you can see here you can insert three cards and uh, basically what happens here is that the, the main board is uh, cascaded or daisy chained to, uh, in this case, to both sides because there are connectors on both sides. If this was the, to be the, the, the left side end, I wouldn't put the, the, the male connectors on the left side. And the same thing goes for the, the right ending card. So you must be thinking, why did I uh, choose this approach? Well, mainly for two reasons. First of all, it is much cheaper to uh, order this size of PCB than a big PCB for the back plane for, let's say, uh, six or nine cards. Much, much cheaper, even with the connectors, because these connectors are not very expensive. They are, as I said, they are standard connectors. You can see uh, here, the the male 90 degrees connector comes in this, uh, this bar, so you have to cut it a piece with uh, 40 pins, and then another piece with 10 pins that go here on the side. But the, 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 the female connector, no, they come in uh, the in the the sizes already this is a 40 pin 2 by 20 and this is a uh, 10 pin 2 by 5 okay so as i said the first reason price the second reason is that i can uh, make it in a modular so uh, i assembled uh, a rack using three back planes which gives me nine cards that i can uh insert in the the rack i can go i can go uh, farther for example i could put another card and have a uh, 12 slot rack uh, i chose to do just with three cards so i don't have need for for more cards and besides that there is this other card here that i call it the top bottom lateral card it has no electrical function it's used only for mechanical reason. Why? Because this is what puts together the both frames, the, the, the back frame and the front frame. And you see that all the cards, they are connected with standard bolts. I'm talking about uh, M3. The bolts are all uh, five millimeters and the the only special thing is that uh, the head is the Allen. Let's see if I have something here to show you. 
yeah, I have here some, some, so let's see, not so easy to focus, but anyway, I think you could see there, it's an Allen, I think it's three millimeters Allen, and it's, uh, it's a five millimeters, and then there are also the, the bolts, the, the nuts, they come all in packages. I bought packages with a uh, hundred pieces. I used several. I didn't count how many I used here. So let's go back to the top bottom lateral uh, board. As I say, it's this one. If it's used on the lateral, just put it there. If it's used it on a top bottom, what you have to do is you have to put the nylon uh, grooves, the nylon slots, like this. They are inserted in the in the holes, and I bought these. Also, I think I bought a packet with uh, 50 slots of these, so it's very very handy. And after after it's all assembled, it should look like this. Let's take a look inside. As you can see, we have the back plane, and it's cascaded. And then again, and you see that the, the, the boards on the, the end, the left end and the right end, don't have the, the connectors on the edge because I don't need any expansion. So you have three, six, nine slots that you can use it. And also inside you can see the lateral has no slots, no need for that. And from the outside, what does it look? like this so so as I said this card is used only for mechanical reasons it puts everything together and the back plane looks like this of course it would be very much uh, safe if I if I put some kind of uh, isolation here let's say uh, some foam or something like that to avoid any electrical contact but this is what we have and so you can see that the bottoms the the same thing so so it's one card used for top bottom and lateral and the and the back plane modular so you can expand it maybe put another card or two here and make a bigger rack that's it and besides that the the, the aluminum uh, beam I also used here. You can see that that uh, all the cards, this is the I squared C, I, I used the, the same uh, frame here to connect the, 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 the PCB, the card, with the, with the frontal. So uh, I just cut a little strip, I think it's uh, six or seven millimeters. And I also used the same, same uh, bolts and the same uh, nuts, except for here in, in the in the bottom. I use a, a knob as a, a a pusher. It's it's also very inexpensive. And uh, trust me, all that I used here I bought at uh, AliExpress. I, I probably you can find it in uh, eBay also or Amazon. But uh, it's very, very cheap in, uh, in AliExpress. So this is the assembly. I hope it was useful. And uh, just send me some, uh, some questions if you, if you didn't understand something here. Thank you.